Hey guys, welcome back to Bake Me Happy. This week we're going to be making a really simple floral cake. All the ingredients and the equipment that you're going to be using are going to be in the description box down below, so check that out if you want to know. And we're going to get started. So I'm going to start with three small six inch chocolate cakes. And I'm going to stack them on my um, cake board, which is just a little homemade one. Um, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit of ganache and smear it onto the board, just to ensure that our cakes are going to stick. Alright, so this ganache is quite runny, but if you want to just let it thicken for a little while, you can do that. But I'm going to work with it like this because we are going to put it in the fridge anyway. So I'm just going to smear that over the top of the layers, in between each layer, just to make sure that all the cakes stay together. And to kind of even out the fact that it's a little bit domed. Now my cakes aren't terribly domed because I cook them at a low heat. But if you do have a dome, you just need to level it off with... You can use a cake leveller or a ruler or anything that you've got. Alright, so because this cake is quite tall and it doesn't have a lot of support around it, I'm just going to put in a small wooden skewer, pointy end first, straight down the centre. And then I'm going to pull it back up and cut it off at that point. And that should just keep it in place. Alright, so I'm just going to push that in and then use the end of this one just to push it right down. Right, so that should keep the cake all centered and we can cover the rest with ganache and then we'll come back. All right, so the ganache is pretty set now. I'm just gonna put this chocolate icing. Um, I made a packet cake out of a box. So I'm just using the icing that they gave me in that. So I'm gonna crumb coat it and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. And while we do that, we're gonna roll out the fondant. So for this part, it's really important that you're pushing it down the sides and into the cracks that you've missed because that's going to make it an even surface for when we put the fondant on. Alright, so I've got green fondant here that I've coloured. Um, we've got some marshmallow fondant, but you can use store-bought fondant and you can use any colour that you like. This is just the colour that I've had the request for. So I'm basically just going to roll this out until it's nice and big, until a large enough... Um, square that it's going to be able to cover the cake. Alright, so we've got the fondant and now we're just going to drape it over the top of the cake. Place it down really carefully. And we're going to pull out the edges and smooth it down the sides. Alright, so now I'm just going to trim around the edges really roughly and then we can tuck that in underneath the cake just to clean up the bottom. Alright, so we've got our cake covered and it doesn't really matter if the bottom is a little bit um, kind of not perfect because we are going to cover that up later. But I've got these flowers that we've cut out with these little fondant cutters that I have. Um, they're basically just, you just push them out which makes sure that the fondant all stays intact. So I've got a whole heap of them and I've got a little bit of water and some, um, a paintbrush that I only use for food. So now is kind of where you can decide what you want to do with it. Just put a little bit of water on the back of each flower. and then you place it on the cake and the water should make it adhere. So I'm going to go through and do all the rest of the cake, putting them at random with all my different sizes and then we'll come back. So from the leftover fondant, I made a ribbon to go around the edge of the cake. Um, it's about 
centimeter, two centimeters thick, and I'll show you that later. But right now we're going to make a bow to go around the front. I'm going to make quite a small one, and I'm going to use the same color, but of course you can use whatever color you like to make this. So I'm going to roll it out quite thinly. And then I'm just going to go through and use my pizza cutter to cut a reasonably thick strap. Okay, so I'm going to take the excess fondant away and use this strap that we've got here. Now the thicker you cut your strap, the uh, thicker your bow is going to be. So we're just going to cut it straight on the edges. Alright, so I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to do a small kind of bump in the middle and you can smooth it out. Alright, so it kind of looks a bit like an untied bow tie. And then we're going to make this a little bit thinner as well. Alright, so here's the trickier bit. What we're going to do is we're going to put a tiny bit of water with our paintbrush just right down the centre. Just to make sure it's all going to stick. And then we're going to fold it and fold it. And then we can brush some of that icing sugar off just to make the colour a bit nicer. And at this point if you want to neaten up any of the edges you can, which is what I'm going to do. Alright, so now what we're going to do is put a tiny bit more water in the middle, just like this. And you can kind of make your own folds so that it looks like real material. And you can use the knife to make the dents, whatever you think you need to do. And now we're going to take some of that other leftover fondant and you're going to cut a reasonably thick strip. And then we're going to wet that in the centre again. And we're going to fold that around the middle so that it covers everything and we can cut it back at the back. And then we're going to let that dry for about half an hour to an hour and then we can put it on the cake. Alright, so my bow has been drying for about half an hour and I put some straws through it just to make sure that the edges of the bow were still going to have some volume in them. So I'm going to take the straws out now. And it's quite a lot harder, as you can probably tell. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water and then brush along the seam. And then we're going to brush along the back of the bow. And then we're going to fasten that to the front of the cake. Alright, so here we've got our finished cake. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Bake Me Happy. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more from me, make sure you hit subscribe, which will be right here. Like this video, comment what you'd like to see down below, and I'll see you next time.